okay you guys welcome 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 and welcome back to another video you are watching craft a lot tv with keisha and in today's video i am going to be decorating this planner page i'm gonna do like a paris theme decoration and i'm gonna try to do this in let's say 10 minutes okay um, so as you can see, I've already written here on this page. We're going to cover this up, y'all. Okay, we're going to cover this up. Um, if you're new here, I would like to welcome you to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure after you hit that subscribe button, you hit that notification bell so you notify anytime I upload a video. Once you're done watching the video, please, please, please leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like the video. If you see yourself doing something like this, some people might think it's a waste of time, but um, this is just me doing this so I can use this book that I haven't finished using. You know, I wrote on a few pages here and there, but the majority of the pages are blank. It's also going to help me to keep up with my video ideas, okay? So each page is gonna be dedicated to a video. Um, the theme of the page is not necessarily geared towards what the video is going to be about. We just decorating the pages, okay, you guys? So without further ado, let's get started on transforming this page here, okay? Sorry about the noise. That's just me shifting and moving around in my tight little space here. So I have, I have this here scrapbook piece of paper that I purchased probably like two years ago, okay? So we are gonna use this. I think I paid 49 cent for it. It was off the plan. So I'm gonna cut this down and we are going to use this um, piece of paper here in our design. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the pages that I'm going to, um, the scrapbook paper that I'm going to use before we get started. That way we can get rid of this paper cutter. There's no certain size that I'm cutting this. I'm just cutting it down just a little, okay? So I'm going to cut that just like that. I think that's all we're gonna need of that. I also have these pink scrapbook papers. I'm gonna cut those down as well. Um, again, like I said, I'm not doing any certain size. If you want to do that, you can. It's not necessary for me, so. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna cut me down some paper, y'all, just in case I decide to use any of these. So this one, I feel like that. All right, so we have these. I don't believe I'm gonna need this any longer, so let's move that out the way. Let's move that. I have this here paper as well that I've used. This was like some leftover that I had from like a, old, a sublimation project I did. If you can see here, you can see some of the sublimation ink on this, but um, I figured I could use this piece of um, paper for something else. So this is cardstock. So we may use those. I'm not sure. So let's bring our book back over and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to use this page. Um, first, I'm going to start with... Just land. I'll probably use the lighter pink instead of the darker pink. It'll probably look better with this. And I may use this. I may not. This is kind of textured. Um, so we might use that. I know for sure I'm gonna use this. Um, uh -oh, I think I went the wrong way with this. There we go. Oh, it might be out, y'all. This may be out. I do have another one here. Yeah, I think this one is out. I can't really see inside of there unless I'm going the wrong way. Let me just. Yeah, this one is out. So we're going to use this one. 
All right, there we go. All right. So I'm just gonna go along my edges. like so and then I'm gonna go across the center now this is not the um, double sided tape that I normally use but what I normally use I don't have and I actually had that in my stash I purchased that on accident from the Dollar Tree I thought it was like white out and I just had it in my stash so I just pulled it out so I'm gonna go ahead and Add some double-sided tape to this. And let's see, I'm gonna put this, just gonna drop it down as far as I can just to kind of give us as much space as we can. Now, I don't think I'm gonna end up using these. Um, I think I'm gonna end up using these. Maybe, I might, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just cut a piece, just in case. Let's just cut a piece down, just in case. And we're gonna cut another piece because if I do use it, I don't wanna use too much. All right, so again, like I said, we're gonna kinda do like a Paris type thing, kind of, sort of, but not really. Um, okay, I'm gonna put that right there just to cover that up really, really quick. And gonna, again, put our double sided tape on our edges and some across the center. I'm gonna butt this up against this pink and apply that right there. We're not gonna add no more though, okay? So I'm just gonna go through my sticker books and see if I could find some stickers we can add to this. Um, we are gonna use this here sheet that we had left over from Our last page design. I'm gonna put that right here. I'm gonna just try to get it as even as I can, just eyeballing it. And then I'm just gonna, I have this large pair of sticker here. I wanna use it, but I think it's too big. So we're not gonna use this. And this is like a glass sticker, but we could, you could use that. So I'm gonna just see if I can find me some stickers just to kind of use on here it ain't even really like a paris theme i just i don't know it's not really a paris theme y'all <laughs> kind of sort of but not if we had some more paris stickers maybe but okay nothing in there that we want let's look in this here book i don't think it's nothing in here i want to use either because for the paint this is I don't know. I might use something from here. Let's see. Um, I might just go ahead and use this just so we can kind of get this done real quick and get this out the way. So we just going to put this right here. And let's see if I got my... I don't know what I did with my little tweezers that I had. Um, I probably tossed them on my table that's back behind me. Um, and I probably just can't see it at the moment, but it's okay. All right, so this here, just I just pulled this off of this book that I, not book, I got these from the Dollar Tree. So I just pulled that off of there. So I'm just going to put this here like that. 
And as y'all can see, we already totally transformed this here page that I already had writing on it, as y'all seen. Um, just put this right here like that you could cut down more line paper to put right here if you would like um, you could also use like sticky notes which I think that's probably what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a sticky note here I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut necessarily need to cut this off Let me just put some double sided tape on the back of here it is a little sticky on the top because it is a post-it note but sticks to this glitter it might have a difficult time sticking to this glitter all right so we have that there we still I need to still put let me see if I can find a um, like a, a long washi type sticker to put right here just to kind of adhere that down I do have some washi tapes. But I'm finna go grab them because I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take one of these as well, y'all. And I'm gonna just put it here again trying to line it up and drop it down evenly even though my lines don't match up um it's fine you can also add you can also add like just motivational quotes just if you kind of like you know need to fill in a space you can add a motivational quote like so I should have turned on a timer <laughs> but anyway i just want to find a piece of like washi just to go across here just a piece of washi tape y'all give me one second and let me just see if i see my washi i do see them give me one second None of these really match at all. But I do have some silver tape that I can use, even though, even though it's not much silver. Um, on this page, but there is some. We could also use one of these pink flamingos, y'all. Don't they have like pink flamingos and like the, um, Paris design theme stuff. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, so we just gonna go across here with some of this. Let me just cut this where it's straight. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I can get this over here. These fingers on this side is down really bad. Let me just measure this. Um, all right. Uh, all right, so let me just try to lift this up.
There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to take this and just drop it right here. Just like that. Y'all see? Y'all can see my paper there kind of tricky. But let's add one of these pink flamingos. I just seen this in my stash when I was grabbing this silver tape out. So we're going to add one of these, y'all. Maybe two. So you can add as much or as less as you want. It doesn't have to be too busy. Um, you just do it however you like. I'll probably add one more of these and that'll be it. For this here design, I'll add, since this is part of um, one of my nursing pages, I'll probably add one a nursing sticker. And you could also add more notes um sections up here because of course you won't be able to write on this unless you're writing with a permanent marker but if you want to add matter of fact we'll just add one more like you know little note section that we could write on you can do that because the whole idea is for this to kind of be like a kind of like a background you know just like a background and then you'll write on this so I can just add this one right here. And you can add more if you like. You can cover up the whole section just so you have some of this peeking through the back. Um, Y'all see, I can't lay a sticker straight to save my life. I'm trying. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty much it. Um, these you also can write on. So if you wanted to, you can add one of these as well. I think the smart thing to do would be to cut you down some line paper and just add some line paper. But that is it for this here page. Let's go ahead and add one of our nursing stickers. I think I like the shoes, y'all. Let me open this up. Or we can use one of the cups. Let's see. What y'all think? We'll do the shoes. These are cute. So, since this is one of our pages that's going to be dedicated to real nursing convos, we just going to add the shoes. And I don't like it on top of that. Definitely don't like it on top of that. We're just gonna, and you know what? Let's come down here. All right, so we're just gonna put those right there. And that is it for this here page decor, you guys. So hopefully you all like this video. Again, like I stated, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so you notify anytime, anytime I upload a video. And that is it for this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this here page decoration. Um, until next time, that is it, you guys. If you wonder why these stickers look like this, they're like pop-up stickers, but they lay flat. And I'm just trying to push it so it can lay flat. Um... But yeah, and I'm going to have to put some tape, not tape, yeah, the double-sided tape on the back of these. Because as you can see, on top of this glitter, it's one team to lift. Okay? But that is it for this video, you guys. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Until next time, bye!